Early Rising by John Godfrey Sachs. Read for LibriVox.org by Rhonda Fetterman. God bless the man who first invented sleep, so Sancho Panza said, and so say I. And bless him also that he didn't keep his great discovery to himself, nor try to make it, as the lucky fellow might, a close monopoly by patent right. Yes, bless the man who first invented sleep. I really can't avoid the iteration. But blast the man, with curses loud and deep, whate'er the rascal's name, or age, or station, who first invented and went round advising that artificial cut-off, early rising. Rise with the lark, and with the lark to bed, observe some solemn sentimental owl, Maxims like these are very cheaply said, but ere you make yourself a fool or foul, pray just inquire about his rise and fall, and whether larks have any beds at all. The time for honest folk to be abed is in the morning, if I reason right, and he who cannot keep his precious head upon his pillow till it's fairly light, and so enjoy his forty morning winks, is up to knavery, or else he drinks. Thompson, who sung about the seasons, said it was a glorious thing to rise in season. But then he said it, lying in his bed, at ten o'clock a.m., the very reason he wrote so charmingly. The simple fact is, his preaching wasn't sanctioned by his practice. Tis doubtless well to be sometimes awake awake to duty and awake to truth but when alas a nice review we take of our best deeds and days we find in sooth the hours that leave the slightest cause to weep are those we passed in childhood or asleep tis beautiful to leave the world awhile for the soft visions of the gentle night and free at last from mortal care or guile to live as only in the angel's sight in sleep's sweet realm so cosily shut in where at the worst we only dream of sin so let us sleep and give the maker praise i like the lad who when his father thought to clip his morning nap by hackneyed phrase of vagrant worm by early songster caught cried served him right it's not at all surprising the worm was punished sir for early rising end of poem this recording is in the public domain